Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. This is a Vocal Blaze 86. The ski returns unchanged from last year except for graphics. Uh, we generally have this available both as a flat and as a system. Uh, the flat really opens up a lot of possibilities for your own binding choice as these Blaze skis do have that 50-50 hybrid touring and resort uh, application to them. So you can go anything from a super light techie binding all the way up to just a normal alpine binding. And you know, we're not gonna call you wrong for whatever choice you make. Uh, you know, Vocal's done a great job with these Blaze series of skis when they first came out. Uh, they were kind of a little bit more on the touring side of things. People just realized that the Blaze 94 and 106 specifically just made great resort skis. Uh, they were light, manageable, had a high performance ceiling. And then when you added that potential for touring, uh, that just made them even more popular. Also interesting how people have kind of gravitated narrower with these Blaze skis. You know, kind of the 106 started off as that marquee model. People discovered that it was great, but they really enjoyed the 94. Then when this 86 came out, we started to notice that all the vocal uh, ski employees were using this as their personal ski and really kind of pushing the 86 as being uh, a, an incredibly versatile, well-rounded, and just a fun-loving ski. So it's funny seeing the industry people uh, choosing this 86, uh, which I think might have been a little bit farther from their initial intent, but you know, whatever works. Uh, we are built with their light multi-layer wood core, so it is a light start for sure. They don't have the uh, metal binding reinforcement plate. They use uh, fiberglass in place, uh, but they do have suspension tips and tails. So this rubberized material that kind of goes around the tip here and the tail uh, does a great job at reducing vibrations and keeping the ski pretty smooth and stable. Uh, not only just adding a little bit of weight to balance it out, but also being that energy absorbent material. So a little bit more stiffness underfoot, a little bit of energy absorption in the tips and tails, and just lightweight and energetic throughout. Uh, pretty light ski here. This is the 173, and on the scale it hits uh, a little bit out of balance there, 1,454 grams. So we're sub, sub 1,500. Uh, not a bad touring option, whether you want to do, do it exclusively or a, a few times. You know, that's kind of up to you and how you choose to use this ski. Uh, it really, really kind of meets you where you're at. And that's a nice thing about this Blaze. It does have their 3D turn radius. So shorter 15 meter radius in the front, then a bit longer 28 in the shovel and 23 in the tail. Really just allows you to mix up your turn shape and style, even within a turn, not just on a given run, but when you're in a carved turn, you can kind of play around with your fore aft pressure, uh, pressure underfoot and feel where the ski is happiest and adjust accordingly. Uh, it's just a natural and easy and confidence inspiring way to go about uh, carving a ski down a hill. Uh, you know, you don't have to think too hard about it, but if you like to play around with that type of thing, pretty cool how this technology actually works. Uh, like we've talked about with the other Blaze series of skis, there's not a whole lot of camber here. You know, just a little bit underfoot, uh, but really just, it's got a good amount of long and low tip rocker. So starting well down here, uh, really just a nice even bend throughout more directional uh, in terms of that taper shape as well. Really kind of fits squarely into that all mountain category, that mid 80s underfoot, uh, not, not too demanding, but great energy. Uh, low tail rocker, so you're gonna have a longer effective edge when you're in a carved turn. Uh, and then nice rounded uh, tail shape as well. So great for bumps and trees. You know, each time we get on a narrower blaze, uh, they have an 82 out now. Um, and each time we get on a narrower one, it just jumps to the forefront as being like a, a fantastic mogul tree, uh, mogul ski and tree ski. Uh, you know, anything that requires uh, tight, you know, tight maneuverability, quick turns, agility edge to edge, these blazes and the narrower ones more specifically uh, really just rise to the occasion. So if you ski in an area that has a lot of tighter, more technical zones, if you like bumps, if you like making quick short turns, Blaze 86 is a phenomenal option for you. And if you want to go touring, 
that hybrid binding uh, application certainly exists. So feel free to kind of explore kind of the, the limitations of, of what this ski has to offer, um, starting with, with the ski here. Uh, so make sure you check out this Vocal Blaze 86 here at skiessentials.com, and we will see you out there on the hill. Bye.